Um, I'd like to welcome up Mike Monty. This is going to be the next session, section where we talk about doing our best, the little ways that uh, we all make the world a little better place. Hey, guys. So I, uh, I wasn't a volunteer voluntarily. I, um, a friend of mine came up to me and said, hey, would you like to teach sex ed to kindergartners? <laughs> and I was like, that would be a good Facebook post. But uh, about a week later, I couldn't think of uh, a valid excuse or muster the courage to stand up for my lazy side. So I ended up doing it. They, uh, but they didn't give me kindergartners, they gave me fifth graders, and I wasn't emotionally prepared to deal with their questions. Uh, one thing, though, we had this, this exercise where uh, it was, we asked them, should girls be allowed to play football? Stand over there if you're yes, stand over there if you're no. And this, I'm just glad that these kids are going to be around taking care of me when I'm older. Because they didn't go to, they, they weren't, it wasn't black and white. They were in the middle and they were discussing things. And they were open-minded enough to shift their positions based on the reasons the other kids gave. So uh, the bottom line is I'm, I'm not smarter than the fifth grader. I wish I was. <laughs> and then, then after the fifth graders, I finally got to work with the kindergartners. I was looking forward to it because, you know, they say the funniest shit. And I just, I was looking forward to it until I read the curriculum. And there was so much singing on my part. And that's like, that's, that's like one of my worst fears. It's up there with volunteering and public speaking. Uh, but uh, I did it. And there was this one. And this is actually going to segue into Wonder More. Because I was, we had this discussion that was about family configuration. And it was, it was namely, you know, when you have a, a little brother or a little sister come into, a, come into the situation. And we, we talked about the range of emotions you may go through. So you may be, you know, sad or angry that your parents aren't spending time with you. Uh, the baby keeps you up at night. Or you can be happy because, you know, they smile at you, they giggle, it's funny. And then we gave them some Play-Doh. Say, here, show me sad feelings. After 10 minutes, we asked them, hey, show, let's discuss this. What did you make? Uh, I made a donut. It transformed into a ball. What about you? I made a volcano. <laughs> you? Well, I made some lava. It's like, oh, great. So this is the Wonder More bit. It's like, I'm 42 years old. I've been to college. I've been to grad school. I've been married, so I've been to counseling. <laughs> I, uh, I wonder how I would do with the same assignment. And I figured, you know, I could probably, if I was lucky, come up with a slightly more sophisticated volcano. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that I wasn't clever enough to come up with an excuse because I, I really do think that uh, it's, it was just, it was great. It was fun. I have stories to tell my mom when she asks, what do you do? Give her something actually substantial other than, you know, play on my phone. Um, and I'm going to leave you with uh, one thing. Uh, I don't have any cute or funny stories about CASA. It's a core point special advocates program. Uh, but you can talk to me afterwards, and I'll give you the point of contact. So I just wanted to throw that plug in there. And that's all I got.